Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Tuesday and I have your word for the day. The last couple of weeks we've been looking at and talking about what it means to be a fully devoted follower of Jesus. And we talked about the areas that we need to be growing in, that we always need to be getting better. We always need to be reflecting and asking ourselves, how am I doing in this area? We looked at loving, loving our neighbor. We looked at loving God. We looked at growing, growing our, in our relationship with others and growing in our relationship with God. And today we're going to look at connecting. Who are you getting real with in your life? I mean, who knows you as well as you know yourself? One of the things that my wife and I love about Calvary is our life group. We love being able to sit down in a circle with our life group and confess our struggles to, to each other, to listen to one another, and to pray for one another. And do you know that's actually a, a biblical mandate? That's actually what God wants us to do inside our relationships with other people. James 5.16 says, Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results. When you think about your conversations with other people, do you think about it, them in the terms of confessing sin? Now, when I was a child, I, I grew up Catholic and I would walk into the little confessional and confess my sin to the priest and he would give me prayers to pray. But we're actually called to be honest and transparent about who we really are with other people. It doesn't necessarily mean everybody, but do you have somebody in your life that holds you accountable? Do you have people in your life that you are getting real with, that you're transparent with, and you're connecting with? I want to encourage you, find people and be real with them. Establish a real connection. Because we don't want to just do church at here at Calvary. We don't want people just to show up and worship and go home. We want to dive into community with one another. We want to experience life change with other people. And the only way to do that is by being real, being transparent, and living confessionally with those people. Being honest, being real, and confessing sin. When we do that, our marriages are strengthened, our personal relationship with God is strengthened, and our love for the Lord is really strengthened through transparency with other people. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, share it, or leave a comment. God bless.